Chia with the DMR people. You know there's a Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one. And this one is the Dornish Master Plan is still in effect. And I'm going to tell you exactly why that is. Let's do it. Teflon TV. Teflon, Teflon TV. What up, what up, what up, my people? You know who it is. It's the Don. Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. It's the Don. Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. So what is the Dornish Master Plan? Now this is a plan that has been brought forth by Doran Martell because his family was wrong. His sister was killed. So he probably had this plan working in the background to take revenge for all that Dawn has lost. That is what the Dornish Master Plan is. So this is what everyone expected to see in the show. But that's not what we got in the show. What we got in the show was a lot of shit. A lot of stand stakes and a lot of craziness and a lot of disappointment when it came to Dawn. But after the death of Doran Martell, everyone in the fandom, especially us theory crafters, was like, there's no way the Dornish Master Plan could be in effect. It has to be over. Or why would they kill this man off? Now, even though a lot of people, we know that the books and the show were different, sometimes people do get it twisted and sometimes it does mess up. But right now, I'm going to tell you and give you 100% proof that the Dornish Master Plan is still a great possibility in the books, but not in the show. And this is the reason why. The showrunners shit the bed with Dawn. We know that they messed up here. They probably were going for something different. They wanted it to be planned a certain way, but the way they had it planned, it just did not work out. And I do believe that they realized that this wasn't going to, that going to work the way they had it, and that is the reason why they changed the storyline. And I have proof of this because the actor who played Dora Martell just recently did an interview with Time Magazine. I'm going to tell you exactly what he said in this interview to give me the reason and probably you after you hear what I said to make you think that the Dornish Master Plan is still going to jump off in the books. Now during a recent interview with Star Trek.com, he revealed that he was contracted for four episodes in season six, but he received a call from the showrunners informing him that Doran would not make it out of the first week. Now this is a quote. Anyway, they said, you know what this phone call is about. I was like, yeah, well, I guess I do. So we were going to kill you off at the end of last season, but we decided that we're going to have to kill you off at the beginning of next season. I was like, okay, life goes on. But there was something wrong about this because I had been contracted for four episodes in the following season. So if they were going to kill me off at the end of last season, why would they contract me for these four episodes? And I think that these are valid questions that he's asking. Why would they give him these four extra episodes if they planned on killing him off like that? But he does give an explanation for it. So something happened. I have no idea what. There was an enormous amount of fan excitement when I got named to be on the show. And everyone was like, oh my god. Yes. Doran Martell. He's going to be great as Doran Martell. And that might have been the kiss of death. Maybe they didn't want quite that much attention on that character. Maybe they thought, well, let's prove that we're going to stray from the books. We're going to do something else. And he will be our first example of that. So maybe that could have been the case. Well, sir, I think you are right on this account. I think that the showrunners realized how bad they fucked up doing when they have scenes with Jamie and Bron in these stupid costumes. When you have the absolute worst fighting scene ever done on a budget of this scale between the Sand Snakes, Jamie Lannister, and Braun, and you have lines like this. You want the good girl, but you need the bad pussy. I think the show notes are like, we fucked up. We <laughs> my and we got to drop this shit from the story. I think in the beginning they did have planned to use some of that master plan in it. But after they ruined it, they bent the knee to the fans and said, Fuck Dawn, we are going to scrap Dawn. And that is why Dawn got scrapped and cut. Therefore, in the books, I do believe that the Dornish master plan is still in effect. And I know this video was short, people, but I am doing a Q&A Saturday. That's tonight, 7 p.m. 
So please tune in live, Teflon TV. I'll have some friends with me. We'll be taking your questions and we'll be talking about all things Season 7 and all things Game of Thrones and the Song of Ice and Fire. And if you're looking for new videos, uploads from Teflon TV on Game of Thrones, know that I upload new videos every Saturday and every Monday. So if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this, please spread this across the realm, and please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.